Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm using the large May 23 balloons and birthday wishes um, die set <laughs> from Spellbinders. I'm also dragging out the large die of the month for April, um, which I think I said in one of my previous videos, might have been the introduction to these, uh, the new, the May kits, um, where I use just the centerpiece of the largest die to die cut into this blue piece of cardstock and it just creates these really pretty little I think they're like little daisies in the corner and all this other detail which you'll see in a second and some of it embosses and some of it cuts out so it's it's very very sweet and very very pretty kind of card um, to die cut and in that set in the April set there is actually a piece that will cut out the center and around the outside to create some you know this funky kind of looking card so what I have here for the banners is I have blue and white cardstock. Thought that would just be a nice contrast with the the pale blue. And there's a piece, there's a die in the set that is this extra one that has almost like these two embossed lines on it. And that helps you guide where you put your next banner. Now, this was the first time I was doing this, so it took me a minute just to work out where these things had to go think I got it right but I may not have so don't <laughs> no judgment please um but because I actually turned this top one around because <laughs> it didn't look right to me like in my brain it probably was fine but it just bothered me so I dragged the the um example sheet that you can see there that they send with the kits and um I just dragged it out to try and work out how this went because as you guys know I will always do this with you guys first thing that's the first thing I make with them is when I'm doing them on camera for you guys so I don't practice the stuff beforehand because I want to show you um, how these things go together and how easy or how tricky they can be because sometimes they're not difficult but they just take one or two tries <clears throat> so this one I kind of swapped it around and I felt like it looked a little better to me um, it probably made no difference or maybe I had it upside down in the first place I'm not sure but I got the little banner stuck on there and then I had to work out where the tails go at the top and the bottom now it's the same two piece two um dies that you will cut out so there's two of the so i basically cut it out twice and then i just i suddenly worked out that there's an edge on the navy and the white piece of the tail that's kind of they have the same sort of edge same shape if that makes sense so basically you have two of them one will go as it is on the top and then the bottom right one, I've just flipped that piece around so that it becomes the bottom tail. So it's very clever. Like I say, Spellman has always come out with such cool stuff and it just, it makes sense. When you can get it to like, just put the stuff together, it works so, so well and looks very cool <laughs> too. So once this goes together, you're suddenly like, ah, oh, that's very clever um, to create a banner. Now, the reason you get that embossed piece that goes in the middle where it's got the two embossed lines is so that you can keep adding those white banner pieces onto it and just keep building up a really you can have a very long banner um, with sentiments on it and there's quite a few sentiments in the die set as well i'm just using the happy birthday today um and also the happy birthday i'm oh, sorry <laughs> the dies for the the sentiments are all curved as well um not all the letters are joined but I used where I die cut the piece that I die cut them out of the cardstock. I used that as a bit of a guide as to where to line up the loose letters if you want. So I winged this first one and it wasn't quite lined up, so I I kind of pull it off and <laughs> and make it work. So I lined up the the appy part of happy and then um, just took the H off and relined it up back through the almost like the stencil, the waist part of the the card that I'd, I'd cut out. And I did the same thing with the birthday part of the word. So I lined up roughly where I thought that would work using the cutout bit as a almost like a stencil so I could sort of visualize where it was going to go. Added the birth, or the, I'm not going to try and say the, <laughs> of this part of the sentiment, <laughs> the earth, duh. Um, and then lined that up lined the sort of cutout piece against it and then just 
stuck those extra letters on so stuck the y on also being aware of where i was putting adhesive because it overhangs the banner a little bit um both sides overhang a little so i just was aware of how much adhesive i was putting on um, and then got the b stuck in as well and then we have the banner and actually it wasn't actually that difficult that's a lot of actuallys but it wasn't that difficult to, to put together um, in the end, <laughs> like I say, I want to do these firsthand with you guys so that you guys see, um, you know, so we can do this together, basically. So I had it, because I pulled the H off, I had a little bit of the blue, I don't know whether it was the dye in the, the cardstock, <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, it kind of left a little blue mark there, so I tried to get it off with a sand eraser, but in the end I didn't worry too much, I thought, well, <laughs> it's handmade, <laughs> so... So for my banner, I'm going to add um, some uh, thin foam adhesive. So this is about one mil thick. So it's it's not it gives a bit of dimension, but it's not going to be too um, horrendous when you want to post this. So it should still go in the mail quite nicely. And then I was deciding on where to do my balloons. I cut three of the balloons. The, the die itself cuts three out. Um, and I cut all the um, the strings for the balloons. It cuts four strings for the balloons. Um, I didn't quite understand why it, you would have four strings and three balloons, but um, <laughs> but I just ran with it. Um, there are different like lengths of them, so maybe that's why. There's two longer ones and two shorter ones, um, and they're all sort of slightly different curves. So I just grabbed a couple of uh, the shorter ones and the longer one and I decided I wanted to pop them up so I used the um, double-sided foam and lined up the the little string and then used that to adhere the string to the balloon because that's a tiny little thing you could use wet adhesive but I would then suggest cl like clamping it with a pair of tweezers or something um, just until the glue dries um, but that would probably hold better, in all fairness. But because of how I'm going to pop pop this together, um, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> I think it will stay in place. Uh, and if the strings fall off, they fall off. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I don't want that to happen, but I think they'll be fine. Um, so I was trying to, like, I like the two top balloons, but I had this third one, and I had this idea that it was going to come up from the bottom. So it's kind of like these this banner's there and there's all these balloons that are floating up through you know, like behind them or in front of it um and i just for the longest time could not get this third balloon to sit where i wanted it to without it looking kind of odd um in the end it does go at the bottom and you'll see that in a minute but i just uh i did do a lot of fiddling and faffing with this <laughs> so excuse me while i do that um so once I do decide where this goes, I what I was doing was I haven't taken the backing off anything. And to start with, I took the backing off the balloons because they are going to be behind. And then with using the banner as a guide, the adhesive backers are still on the, the banner just so I can see where those balloons will sit because I want the strings behind the banner but it was the easiest way I thought to get them on there. And also once we stick the banner down, it will hold those strings in place. So I don't even have to, I haven't even stuck them down with anything. So I'm still faffing with this third balloon and um, I will make an actual decision in a second. And I just decided to go with it down the bottom and I just kind of went, that's where it's going. <laughs> so, and actually in the end, I think it still looks cute. So it was fine. So now that I've got the balloon stuck on, I can stick my banner in place and I literally just popped it somewhat centered um, once I kind of had my balloons balloons there and then trimmed off the excess of the little silver balloon at the, uh, sorry, the string at the bottom of the card. So it just made everything nice and neat. And then what I did was I took the uh, Nouveau um, clear glitter I don't even know what it's called <laughs> months so old um but it's like a clear glitter glaze kind of thing um it's like a shimmery um sparkle pen and i just ran that all over 
the balloons. I just thought I'd add a little bit of something. And actually, I think I might give this to my niece for her birthday because um, it just makes sense to do that. <laughs> so I think she'll like it. So that's it, guys. Um, I'm trying to tilt this so you can see a little bit of the shimmer. It was still wet at this point, so it will it will shimmery. Shim oh, that's not a word. It will shine and shimmer much better once it's dry. But this um, was really quite a simple card to put together. Um, and now that I know how to put the banner together, it'll be even easier. <laughs> so until next time, guys, bye for now.